Highland Cemetery recently announced some changes being made to their decoration policy for the summer. The staff says this will help with the maintenance of the grounds. MTN's Ryan Gamboa has more on the updated policy and its impact on community members. Walking through certain sections at Highland Cemetery can be a little tough with lawn care like this. A change in its summer decorating policies has families of loved ones outraged. I think it's terrible. It used to be a lot nicer. It's not uncommon to see family members of past loved ones manicuring headstones at Highland Cemetery. It's supposed to be perpetual care when you buy your lot, but it's not. <laughs> Janelle Van Teagum and her two sisters have been visiting Highland Cemetery since the passing of their father in 1977. They're now stewards to immediate family's gravestones. Is this something that you feel you should be doing? Not really, but um, we do because we care. Janelle isn't the only one upset with the cemetery state. Kim Lockman, who lives in Belt since 1993, has frequently visited her husband's grave, which rests in the veteran section. You know, it makes me, it really breaks my heart to uh, see his grave and the condition it is. I could even send you a photo of the grave after I cleaned it away and dug, you know, but it was just, it's, there wasn't even any grass there. It was just solid weeds. It just, you know, veterans deserve better than that. The uproar comes from the cemetery implementing a past decorating policy that executive director Chris McVita says was in place almost 20 years ago. We, you know, people are still welcome to put flowers out, artificial decorations from uh, uh, November 1st to June 15th. And it used to be that you could have them any time except October 1st to November 1st just for a fall yard cleanup. And so we just lengthened that, bumped it up, so it's clear for the mowing season. And it's just in the flat marker sections. The policy comes as the 30-plus acre of land is maintained by two full-time employees and a handful of part-time and seasonal workers. A lot of land, a stringent supply of funding, and an uptick in cremations. You know, they used to have three, four full burials every week, you know, a casket burial, and with cremation now, um, we, we don't have near the business that they used to. Still, plot owners don't feel this is how their loved ones should be remembered. I don't know, I just, I feel everybody deserves better treatment than that, but especially the people, the veterans section uh, is just, is just awful to do that. Highland Cemetery welcomes anyone with questions or concerns to reach out to their office. It also accepts donations. All that information can be found on our website. In Great Falls, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.